This is the Elegant Oxford. We specialize and offer premium shoe shines, dyes, and artisan patinas for quality men's brands, and help others to learn the art of shoe shining. Visit TheElegantOxford.com for all of your shoe care needs. I think Shell Cordovan care still remains a mystery to a lot of people. It's not the same process as regular leather upkeep, and as you can see here on the toe cap, sometimes this enigma translates into the unexpected. Since horse leather is non-porous, sometimes mirror shines more readily flake off. There's actually a really great article to read concerning how mirror shines happen scientifically, and it's one by my Australian friend Ringo Mock. As you can see, the pores on the leather need to be filled in completely by wax first before the glass-like shine appears. If you happen to use too much water, some moisture can get into the pores first, leading to a compromise that can destroy the shine. Shell Cordovan is especially susceptible, so just know that you'll need to treat horse hide differently. I'll leave a link to this great article in the description of this video, so go check it out. Okay, so it looks like the mirror shine just didn't stick. It's cracking and flaking in areas, and that can look kind of scary to someone who's not trained or not familiar with this process. So I think the owner was just really worried, and uh, it looks a lot worse than it actually is. We're just going to clean this up and make it look perfect. There's also a little tiny scratch right here. Uh, so now, as always, a good hair dryer can really help you eliminate old wax like this. Don't be shy. Hair dryers really don't get hot enough to damage leather, so really make sure the wax is softened up before you go forward. Buy your own or steal your wife's hair dryer like I did. Shoes first, hair second. Okay, now that you're done with that, use some moderate pressure and remove that wax. I apologize, this section has no audio. My mic stand was unknowingly making contact with my table, so I had to remove the sound for a bit. This part may take a while. Don't be fooled by my clever editing. I was scraping wax off until my fingers got really tired. So just be patient and make sure it looks right. Okay, now I'll be using some Saphir Cordovan Cream in dark brown to reintroduce pigment back into the shell. This is the only product I've ever found that can actually add some color back into the upper. It's notorious for not absorbing dye or color, but this has always helped me. The caps are a bit lighter, but that's expected and desired with shell Cordovan as a patina. As you can see here in the picture, certain areas lighten and darken naturally over time, so this is pretty normal. Colored cordovan cream is also essential to cover small scratches, abrasions, and nicks you might find here in the shell. There are a couple here you'll see me cover up. Here's that small abrasion I saw earlier, but the cream will do a great job at covering that up so it looks normal. Okay, now it's time to brush until your arms fall off. Shell Cordovan requires a lot of brushing, so turn on a movie and brush away until you see that famous horse leather glow appear.
Before we move on to the next step, if your brush is leaving some streaks on top of the shell, you can use a cotton chamois to buff it all out. And this is just a great option because some brushes do leave streaking. So uh, you can buff that up and uh, the shell will look a lot nicer. Okay, now it's time for some wax polish. I'm going to be using some mirror gloss, but I won't be mirror shining the shoes like I normally do. It's important to add one layer of wax and then buff it with a dry shine chamois or a cloth. Repeat this process over and over until you see a desired shine. Don't use water or anything else. Just add wax, wait 20 seconds, and continue buffing. Using a brush doesn't work for me at this point. It always inevitably leaves streaks when the wax comes into play. You need friction to melt the wax down and you'll see the desired results. Just use less wax than you think and be patient. Shining shell cordovan takes time and patience, and it's a bit monotonous, but it's always worth it when you see how it turns out. Shell cordovan is so unique, and there's really nothing like it. It just looks so unique and stunning. Don't ask me to choose between calf and shell cordovan. That's like asking me to choose between pizza and ice cream. Both are great for their own specific and unique reasons, but I can't live without either. look like outside. It's just a beautiful, deep, rich color. It looks like marble and wood. It's just really fantastic looking. And it's hard to replicate this with normal calfskin. In fact, you can't. That's why Shell Cordovan is so famous and popular. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I know the owner will love his shoes back. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, and share for more content in the future. Make sure to check out my other videos as well if you'd like to learn more about shining your shoes. Look for me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at The Elegant Oxford for more. Remember to care for your shoes so that they'll last you for years to come. Always put your best foot forward. The small details matter most, so don't forget to hashtag shine your shoes. I'll see you next time.